about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Lauren and I like to make lots of videos about homemaking and cleaning and decorating and mom life. I normally post a day in the life video every other Thursday, but last Thursday Ollie and I were really sick. We've been like super congested and coughing and sneezing and so I was kind of waiting till all of that passed to film because we've just been out of it. So I'm so glad that we're on the mend this week. I went ahead and took him over to my mom's house this morning to hang out with her because I have a ton of errands to run and when I put him in and out of the car seat he hates it so I'm gonna go get my errands done and then go pick him up I need to run to Hobby Lobby and at home and get some stuff for the entryway I told y'all I wanted to do some little um, mirrors and a shelf with a basket and all that jazz I want to take that mirror down that we have in there um, and then I also want to do a cutting board wall in the kitchen and so I'm gonna see if I can find stuff for that if I can't we may end up having to do that another day and then the other thing I wanted to do was run by the Toggery which is like a little cute kids store here in Little Rock and I want to get Oliver some new outfits for the end of summer early fall because he has grown out of everything he's growing so fast he's almost in a 2T at this point so we're gonna go see if we can find some stuff for him and then last but not least I want to run by Walmart and get some groceries so I'm gonna do a little haul for y'all when I get home of everything that I find today but let's go see how much we can get done before I have to go get Ollie I did run by Starbucks I got a vanilla oat milk shake and espresso I love these things one of y'all got me hooked on this it was somebody in my comments of one of my videos that said to try it and it's so good um, but let's go ahead and run these errands and then go get baby Ollie Okay, I just got home from the store. I picked up Oliver. It is 5.47. When I got to my mom's house to pick up Ollie, all of my nephews were there, and so we were hanging out. Um, so it's a little bit later, but I went ahead and unloaded all of these groceries. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I got. I don't ever do grocery hauls on my channel, but I love watching what other people get from Walmart. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through this real quick and then we're gonna cook dinner. I'm making cashew chicken tonight. That's one of my mom's recipes and I'll share with y'all what it is, but it's so good. And then we'll get to the other hauls of stuff we got today and also the front entryway. I'm gonna try to decorate that, but we gotta also put Ollie to bed at some point. So anyways, what we got from Walmart, I picked up a gallon of milk. I got the whole milk this time. Sometimes we get 2%, sometimes we get whole milk. Um, some paper towels, some cage-free eggs, some croissants. I was I really wanted to do some ham and cheese croissants, so I picked up some of this um, uncured honey ham, some provolone cheese, and then these, and I figured that would make a really quick and easy lunch with some of these. I love these, the kettle-cooked jalapeno chips. Um, picked up some more iced coffee. I always like to keep two of these on hand because I drink it every day, and I already have one in the fridge, so I picked up one more. I got some shredded cheese some mascara and I've been using this stuff for like 10 years and it's because when I was in college I was super broke and I just had to get Walmart makeup <laughs> but it's stuck I love this stuff and I've used it ever since except for I usually like to get the one that's straight and I accidentally got the curved one but oh well I also like these these are a really yummy snack and they're easy on the go you just grab them and go 
and it's like a, I don't know what kind of cheese is in there, but it's so good, and it's wrapped in salami, and normally I'll buy like a full one of these, but this is all they had, so I picked that up, got Oliver some baby food, and Oliver loves anything with fruit, so if I'm going to get him a vegetable, I'll make sure it's mixed with fruit, like this one is apple, zucchini, peach, we have pear, carrot, carrot, pea, and then sweet potato, banana, orange, so as long as it's mixed with fruit, he loves it. Um, got some canola oil for our fried eggs in the morning. I picked this up because this is a really good side for any dinner. It's the ranch and bacon pasta salad. My sister got me hooked on this. It's so good. It's like two bucks and it's just delicious. I picked up some soy sauce because for our dinner tonight we need that. Also picked up some cinnamon rolls because on Thursday we're going to the zoo and we're leaving early so I figured we could eat some cinnamon rolls before we go. More baby food. What did I not show you yet? Hot dog buns. Will's been wanting hot dogs, so I picked up some hot dogs and buns. Got some Fruit Loops. Um, some applesauce. I love these. It's kind of funny. One of my students actually gave me these whenever I had gestational diabetes because <laughs> she had diabetes, and I got hooked on them. So I love those. They're, it's unsweetened applesauce, and it's just the little things that you screw the top off and squeeze it. Super easy snack. We also love these. These are like two go-to snacks along with these salami things. We get those every time we go to Walmart. This one's the peanut butter chocolate chip chewy bars. So good. Also love these. Will got me hooked on these. This is the tuna salad sandwich in seconds. The Bumblebee brand. Picked up these because I was having a weak moment. <laughs> they looked really good. Some desitin. Oliver needed more of that. I picked up some elbow noodles because when we have hot dogs, um, I wanted to make some homemade mac and cheese, and I've shared that in a video before, how I do that. But I will probably share it again when we do it this time, so. Um, I picked up some Nathan's Hot Dogs. These are the best, especially if you get the bun length. These are the ones that they have at Sam's Club when you go. So good. Picked up some bell peppers and onion for dinner tonight. Some avocados for my avocado toast in the morning. Um, cashews for our dinner tonight. That's going to go in the chicken. Um, some green beans. We're going to have spaghetti one night, so I picked this up. This is our all-time favorite spaghetti sauce. And I picked up some ground beef for that. Some jasmine rice for dinner tonight. If you needed white rice for like a, an Asian dinner or something, jasmine rice is always the best to me. I think it tastes the best. Um, sour cream for my mac and cheese. Butter for my mac and cheese and other stuff. We use butter on everything. And then broccoli for dinner tonight. Some spaghetti noodles. Ground ginger for dinner tonight. And then Will loves these and he kind of got me hooked on them too. It's the pineapple coconut sparkling water. It's just the clear American brand at Walmart. It's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of this away real quick and then we'll get dinner started. Okay, is there anything better than a stocked pantry? I love it when we have plenty of snacks and dinners for the week so that we don't have to constantly run back and forth to the store. And we've gotten pretty bad about that since having Oliver. We don't ever really do all of our grocery shopping in one trip because it's so hard. Yeah, because of you, huh? <laughs> Um, but anyways, it just feels good to have everything in here for the week. We don't have to run back and forth. We have baby food. We have formula. We have paper towels, water bottles. And also, if y'all missed my pantry organization video, I will link it below. Um, it obviously looked a lot better than this when we first got it organized because we have stuff full right now. But, um, this has really been working for us. We have a thing for baby food, snacks, bread, cereal. Oliver is pulling on my dress. <laughs> and we have a thing for sauces, pasta, breakfast, baking, cooking, and snacks. And this has really helped us stay organized in here. Okay, I wanted to stop real quick and thank Harry's for sponsoring today's video. Harry's razors are our absolute favorite. Both Will and I love them. They give the smoothest, most comfortable shave. And Harry's razors are actually manufactured at their very own factory in Germany. They are premium razors at a fair and affordable price. And they're shipped straight to your front door. I have the Ocean Color Razor, and these razors have deep handle grooves for improved grip, and 50% of the plastic in the handle is recycled. They have high-quality blades complete with a precision trimmer and flex hinge. The foaming shave gel is suitable for sensitive skin, which I love. It has all of the skin-loving ingredients like aloe and hyaluronic acid. 
Redeem your starter set today for just $3 when you go to harrys.com slash Lauren Yarbrough. And in your starter set, you'll get a five-blade razor, weighted handle, a blade cover, and their foaming shave gel. This subscription is super convenient because their razor refills are delivered directly to your door. And not to mention, they give 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations. And they also have a 100% money back guarantee. Redeem your starter set today by going to harrys.com slash Lauren Yarbrough. Or you can just click that link below in my description box. And thank you so much again to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so for tonight for dinner, we're having cashew chicken, and this is my Aunt Debbie's recipe, but you just need oil, soy sauce, cornstarch, um, chicken breast, onion, garlic, broccoli, green pepper, chicken broth, ground ginger, uh, this is, it sounds a lot harder than it is, but it's super easy, um, green pepper, cashews, and rice, and you just, the hardest part of this is just cutting everything up, so cutting the broccoli and the onion and stuff. And then you kind of just throw it all in a, a pan and, on, and saute it. There's more on the back here. This is the rest of it um, if you want to screenshot it and try it. But you basically serve this cashew chicken over rice, and it is so delicious. I grew up on this. We had it, like, at least once a week. So let's go ahead and throw this together. Okay, I mixed up the oil, soy sauce, and cornstarch right here. And I'm about to coat this chicken in it and let it sit for about 20 minutes. This is about the size of the chicken. I just cut it into little cubes. I'm just following what my mom did all growing up. She made them a little bit bigger, and that way they cook really nice. But I'm going to go ahead and pour this over the chicken and put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Okay, dinner is almost ready. I went ahead and cooked up that jasmine rice, and then I poured in that chicken broth mixture, and like I said, that recipe is gonna be in my description box below, but that's gonna have to thicken up for just a minute, and then we'll be ready to eat. Okay, here is the finished product. I just added a bed of jasmine rice, and then I put the chicken mixture on top. And then I always add in the cashews last because they will get soggy if you leave them in the mixture. So I always add them on top. But this is so delicious. Definitely give it a try. I will link this, or not link it, but I will post this recipe in my description box below. Is that good? Okay, we just finished dinner and put Oliver to bed. So now I'm gonna work on this entryway over here. If you were here last week for my fall clean and decorate part two, we put this mirror up. This was a different little wall hanging here. So if you wanna see that, I'll link that video below. But I'm looking to get rid of this mirror today and replace it with a shelf with hooks and maybe a little sign above it. Um, I ran to the store to get some stuff and I'll show you in just a second what I picked up. But I just thought it was weird with two mirrors here. So gonna get rid of this one today and probably move that one either to the master bedroom or the office because I love the way that this mirror looks above the piano. So we're gonna keep that there. But for the entryway, I've always thought that this mirror was a little bit small for this area. So I'm looking to get rid of that and get something that fills this space a little bit better. And this welcome sign, I'm not really sure about it, but for now, it's gonna stay there. But what I picked up for the entryway from Hobby Lobby is um, these little mirrors. So picked up three of these, what is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, a, is it a hexagon that's six sides? Hexagon mirrors, three of those from Hobby Lobby, and they have the little chain attached, so I don't know how I'm gonna like those, but 
I thought that was cute because it tied in the kind of rustic glam feel. And then these uh, hooks I actually had before. I don't know if y'all remember. I used to have these in the entryway and I actually sold them on Facebook Marketplace not too long ago. And then I realized I need them. <laughs> so I went back to Hobby Lobby and rebought them. Thankfully, they still had them. And then I picked up this basket from Hobby Lobby and it's a hanging basket. So it has this little hook on it. And I thought that was so cute. And it's kind of a darker basket. And then these leaves also came from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if I'll use those here or not, but I was trying to see what it would look like for fall. So I stuck those in there. Um, but let me know if you think that the mirrors look good above this. I asked on Instagram today, and a lot of y'all said, I think it was half and half actually. A lot of y'all said you liked the mirrors like this. And then a lot of y'all said I should hang a sign, uh, I think a sign above it. I also had an option for two mirrors instead of three, maybe hung diagonal. And some of y'all said that, but most of y'all said either three mirrors or instead of the mirrors do a sign. So I'm going to see what the mirrors look like because I don't have a sign today. And if I don't like the mirrors, we can always change it out. Um, my builder finally brought over paint that matches the wall that we have over here. So if I mess it up, I can fill the holes and paint over it. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible when I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied Stayed over the Okay, so for above the bench, I ended up with this autumn sign that we did have on top of our hutch. So I'm going to have to see which spot I like it better in. I'm going to be moving stuff around all the way up until my fall home tour on September 4th. So things are going to be moved around a lot. But I was trying to see if I liked this here. I think I do for now just because I can't figure out what to do with this space. Um, I didn't really like the way that the mirrors looked. So took those down, added a little pumpkin. This basket is so cute, but I'm not sure if it's the right color for this space. Um, put those leaves in there from Hobby Lobby. I think these are adorable and I can use these here all year round. Um, those are from Hobby Lobby. I put some little acorn lights there to kind of like brighten up the space over here. I had two pillows here, one with the pumpkins and then this one, but it looked a little bit cluttery. So I took that away. I just have a simple little rustic pumpkin and my throw blanket. And I wasn't sure about having that big pumpkin on the ground there. Oops. I wasn't sure about having that big pumpkin on the ground there. Um, so I think this looks a little bit less cluttered, but let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Y'all have already told me a lot on Instagram about what you uh, think it should have and stuff, which I appreciate because I need all the help I can get with this space. Um, this space is huge from the TV stand right there all the way to the front door. Not huge, but huge for what I have here. And so I need something bigger to fill this space. A lot of you tell me you hate that chair. I'm not a huge fan of it there either, but it just helps fill the space for now. I need something that fills this space a little bit better. So if you can think of anything, let me know. I want a really nice entryway. Um, but a lot of you say at a table with like a lamp and stuff, and I love that for an entryway, but a table right next to this would look silly, I think. It would be just two tables in a row. So I want to keep a bench or a chair here. I just need something larger to fill the space. But anyways, this is what we ended up with. I think it's really fun and festive for fall and definitely let me know what you think down in the comments.
Okay, I almost forgot. I told you I was going to share with you what I got for Oliver at the Toggery. Um, if you're in Little Rock, I don't know if they have it in other places in Arkansas, but they have two locations in Little Rock. It is the cutest little kid's store. They have lots of clothes and toys and even school uniforms. They, all, they have a bunch of other stuff too, but the cutest kid stuff. Um, I picked up this little duck outfit for Ollie. We're going to be going to the zoo tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure when y'all are going to be watching this. It's supposed to go up Thursday, but I'm late getting everything done. So it'll probably go up Friday or Saturday. But anyways, I thought this would be the cutest little zoo outfit. And then I also picked up some baby kids. And I'm so excited about this little outfit. These are going to be so cute with his ducky outfit. And then um, some little socks too. I picked him up some little um, basic socks to go with his kids. I'll show you that up close here in just a second. But I thought that was so cute. That's what I got from the Toggery. And um, I was hoping to find a lot more there, but I didn't really find very much in his size today. So then I went to Academy because I needed to get some new shoes. I forgot to bring those over here. I actually got some Brooks because I have been having the worst back pain. And I think it's from Betty Ollie because he's so big. He's almost 30 pounds. And so whenever I lift him up, I just like hurt my back every single time. And so I got some shoes for my back. But while I was there, I found these for baby Oliver, and I fell in love. I was like, he has to have these 100%. So I got him those. He's in a size 5 right now, and his feet are so chunky, so they're so hard to squeeze into any shoe that I get him. But I'm going to try to just squeeze him into those, and then I just picked myself up like a Nike tank top and also some black Nike shorts that I've already tried on in my room. So... That's what I got. I also got myself some tennis shoes. I'm going to go grab those real quick and show you. But I said I was going to show you this stuff close. This is his little ducky outfit. How stinking cute is that? With the little collar and some little white kids. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I showed this to Will and he rolled his eyes. But he's going to be so cute in that. And then I also picked up some shoes. Let me go grab them real quick. Okay, and then these are the Brooks that I picked up for myself. I thought those were so cute. I actually went for Hoka's. I was going to go for Hoka's, but they didn't have any at Academy. And the place where they had the ones I wanted was at Hibbit Sports all the way across town. And I was like, well, I can use more than one pair of really good shoes. And these were super cute, too. So I picked these up. I'll probably get some Hoka's, too. I want to start wearing shoes that are better for my back because my back it hurts so bad. And not only that, the weather is cooling off, and I'm going to be running a lot more in our neighborhood and at the river. So I needed some good running shoes. But... That's all I picked up for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by my channel, and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out Harry's. I have their link below. They are the best razor in the world. They will get all of your hair gone. They'll leave you super, super smooth, and not only that, it's great for sensitive skin, super affordable, and delivered straight to your front door. You can't beat it. But thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.